being president in the United States is usually like running the gauntlet. That's, that's impossible. That's nothing. But President Biden somehow slept through the gauntlet. Was that a great number? I don't know, I slept through it. Uh, me too, that's why I asked. I didn't think it was possible, but here we are. I, I mean, it's almost like somebody turned the gauntlet completely off and instead installed a walking sidewalk, put a semi-sentient man on it, and then praised him for conquering the gauntlet. Bill, that's not how it's supposed to work. It's like, hey, wait a second. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Please wait. do not interrupt the ceremony, Bob. A walking sidewalk is not the gauntlet. It's not the same thing. It's not like some kind of walking sidewalk gauntlet. Oh, that's not quite the same. No, that's not. I mean, yeah, he may actually still die on the walking sidewalk gauntlet, but not because of the gauntlet itself, but rather due to overexhaustion from patting himself on the back. Revolution has been a huge success. Yay us. Pat, pat on the back. Pat on the back. Come on. No? Me attempting to take credit for any random good thing that happens in the world. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it! Go, thank you. I mean, he's like, yes, it's true. My presidential authority is what caused one solitary bee in Idaho to fart pollen on precisely the correct flower, which, like the massive impact of a butterfly's wings can have, caused a multiplier effect that saved the entire farming industry. Don't you think you should thank me? I mean, honestly, death by patting yourself on the back, that's no way to go. There's no way for a man to die. Yeah, you're right, Ed. A parachute not opening, that's a way to die. Getting caught in the gears of a combine. Having your nuts bit off by a Laplander, that's the way I want to go. <laughs> I'm sure President Biden will pull through, though. Never has a doubt crossed my mind. Just think positive. <laughs> Never let a doubt enter your mind. He's right, Wilma. But I wouldn't wait until the last minute to fill out those organ donor cards. And as long as he's still feeling well, he is welcome in American politics. Is better. He's welcome back at police squad. Unless he's a drooling vegetable. But I think that's only common sense. Honestly, doctors can save just about anything these days. I think we can save your husband's arm. Where would you like it sent? 